Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing an early Ulysse Narden Michelangelo power reserve date. You can see and you can purchase this mother of pearl and lacquer dialed hinge lug rectangular Ulysse Narden formal watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this Ulysse Narden Michelangelo. Angelo. Now, the watch you see on my wrist is a pre-1995 complication that represents one of the earliest efforts from the Rolf Schneider issued era of Ulysse Nardin. Now, I say the Rolf Schneider issued era because subsequent to 1983, when Rolf Schneider, a watch industry executive, purchased the brand, it was really pulling itself off the mat, almost bankrupt, bereft of any kind of inventory or talent or market share. They had to rebuild from nothing, which is why interesting watches and high complications formed the twin pillars of Ulysse Norden. At the high end, watches like the Trilogy of Time, engineered by Ludwig Oxlin. And in the mainstream of the brand's production, watches like this Michelangelo that featured shapes and complications and proportions and details like the hinge lugs that forced collectors to take notice. They were simply that different, and that was the branding effort. So this watch is actually quite complex packed on my 16 centimeter wrist in spite of its outsized visual presence. From lug to lug, the watch measures 40.5 millimeters, so it's compact across the wrist. It's nice and slim too. Nine millimeters thick, you can see that despite the complications and the automatic winding, the stepped flanks of the case and the thin profile allow a dress cuff to ride up and over it quite easily. Now the watch measures a fairly robust 29.5 millimeters across the nine o'clock to three o'clock span of the case, so it's fairly broad for a rectangular watch of this size. It has nice heft to it and it has impressive wrist presence. Yellow gold is incredibly powerful and you can see with that double stepped bezel and the hinge style lugs this watch has an incredible visual impact, personality, and character for its relatively modest size. This is a traditionalist's watch in spite of the somewhat baroque styling. Now you can see that the watch features a leather strap attached to the original Ulysse Narden yellow gold pin buckle and on the case back you're looking at a Frédéric Piguet 951-based Ulysse Nardin caliber 17.7. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It features both a power reserve featuring 43 hours of autonomy and a date on the dial side. And you can see automatic winding and exceptionally compact. It's the reason why this watch can be both automatic and complicated, yet exceptionally thin. Now on the dial side, You'll note that the watch features both lacquer and mother of pearl inserts. You can see the applied yellow gold indices and Arabic numeral 12, the Ulysse Narden anchor style motif and script Michelangelo for a joint marquee. And then just below there is a beautifully balanced set of sub-registers underneath blackened foy or leaf style hands. You can see constant seconds at nine o'clock, the power reserve scale with red alpha style hand at three o'clock, and then there's a radial date at six o'clock. The dial is distinctive, but it's also beautifully proportioned and balanced. The mother of pearl has a beautiful iridescent quality to it, almost a prismatic quality, whereas the lacquer itself is gloss, gleaming, rich. It almost appears wet, and it's a perfect combination between the two. There are metallic chapter rings beautifully and delicately framing the sub-registers to provide a partition between the two materials. The watch is handsome. The watch is original. The watch is also rare, as pre-1995 Ulysse Norden is exceptionally uncommon. So for connoisseurs of the brand, or simply those who prefer traditionally sized dress watches, this is an extraordinary find. An uncommon uncommon combination of Frédéric Piguet caliber, non-round watch, early Ulysse Norden, and deft use of yellow gold with perfect proportions. You can see and you can purchase this timepiece on our website.